uh, this session on uh, algorithmic advantages. I'm Paolo Cremonesi. I will share the session. And so uh, I hope uh, the, the first speaker is uh, already online. The first speaker is uh, Wen Zhu Song. And uh, he will uh, present a paper on next item recommendations in uh, short sessions. Uh, oh, OK. Hi. Hi. So the stage is yours. You can start whenever you want. OK. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Wen Zhou Song, and I'm a PhD student from Jinling University in China. Today, I'll present our recent work titled Next item recommendations in short sessions. This is a joint work with Shou Jin Wang and Yan Wang from Macquarie University and Shen Shen Wang from Jilin University. In, in this work, we focus on the next item prediction of session based recommender systems. In a session data set, each session is a list of user item interactions with a clear boundary. A boundary refers to the starting and ending action pair to start and uh, end a specific session in a transaction in event. A user usually has multiple sessions happening at a different time, and his sessions are separated by non-identical time intervals be between sessions. In most cases, a session can be represented as an item sequence. Session-based recommender systems aim to predict the next item of an ongoing session. We call all the known items in this session the session's context. Most of the existing methods make, make recommendations only based on the session's context. They use the session context to infer the user's dynamic preference in an ongoing session and output a top K item list. However, when a session is short, the available information in the session context is very limited due to the limited items in a short session. This makes it difficult to fully understand the user's current preference. The user preference inferred by the model is unreliable and thus it decreases the performance of recommendations. Besides, Existing studies focus on long sessions and ignore short sessions because they often follow a common practice to filter out all the short sessions during, during the data pre-process. However, ignoring short sessions reduces their applicability in real-world cases since short sessions usually account for a large proportion of a data set. For example, the figure shows that uh, two real-world session data sets, Delicious and Reddit, have, have over 60% and 90% short sessions with less, no more than five, respectively. To leverage more information, some existing methods consider other sessions for recommendations. But in, in a session data set with many short sessions, these methods have limitations in where to find other sessions and how to use other sessions. First, the some works use historical sessions of the same user of the current session. This works ignore the rich information of other users similar to the current user. Besides, most users do not have many historical ses sessions to retrieve. Second, existing methods first represent the current session with a session embedding when the learned by a session encoder. Then they use this session embedding as a key to retrieve a few other sessions from the whole data set. Finally, they use the information such as items in other sessions as a reference for recommendations. However, they often obtain some irrelevant sessions due to the oversimplified session embedding and the session encoder. The C the simple similarity calculation methods and the limited information in the key. In this work, we propose a session-based recommender systems named in short for effective next, next item recommendations in short sessions. Inspired by the recent works in 
few short learning with aim to generalize to a new task uh, containing contain only a few labeled examples. We formulate next item prediction in short sessions as a few short learning problem by regarding a task as estimating the user's dynamic preference in the session. We employ the framework of some recent works in few short learning and propose a method which contain a global module and a local module. So the local module first learns the user's current preference in a short session. The global module retrieves cross-session meta-knowledge from other sessions, including the current user's historical sessions and the few select other users' historical sessions. Next, the global module uses the information in these sessions to complement and modulate the user's preference in learned by the local module. In the global module, we design a, uh, we also design a C, similar session retrieval network, SSRN, to retrieve the session similar to the current session. In the figure is the architecture of our model. On the figure's left are the inputs. They are, they are the current session. We know it's the session context and our task is to predict its next item. And the set of current users' previous historical sessions and the, the session set that contains the sessions of a few other users. They are selected based on the similarities of users' preferences. The local module infers the user preference from the session's context of the current short session. It is based on an RNN network. The global module learns cross-session meta-knowledge from the user's previous sessions and the sessions from other users. And the global module contains two sub-modules that have the same architecture but different inputs and outputs. Their outputs are the meta-knowledge learned from different session sites. In each sub-module, we design an SSRN module to calculate the similarity between sessions and an attention-based session encoder to learn the preference of other users. Finally, the prediction module modulates and optimizes the output of local module according to the meta-knowledge learned by the global module and predicts the next item based on the optimized preference. In the global module, we design an SSRN module to, cal to calculate session similarities. In previous works, session similarity is the distance between two session embeddings learned by a session encoder. In this work, session similarity is the least distance between the two sessions. The figure shows the architecture of SSRN. It is based on RN and has a max polling layer. In the experiments, we select the following baselines to compare the recommendation performance. They are the representative of the other methods based on various models, such as RNN, GNN, and Transformer. They can be classified into three categories. Single session-based recommendation systems make recommendations only based on the session context of the current session. Multi-session based methods take other sessions into consideration. We also test the traditional sequential recommender systems such as SAS REC and the BERT4 REC. For these methods, we concatenate each user's sessions in the training set according to the happening time to form his training sequence. The data sites used in our experiments are delicious and ready and their basic information is shown in the table. In the first group of experiments, we aim to compare the performance of insert and all the baselines for next item recommendations in all short sessions. That means in the test 
test set, the length of the sessions are no more than five. The table shows that our methods achieves clear improvement on both data sets over the best performing baseline method. In the second group of experiments, we compare the performance of insert and all baselines when making recommendations in short sessions with different lines. From the figures, we can see that the shorter the sessions, the more significant the performance improvement of insert over the baseline models. Therefore, insert is better at improve, improving the performance of next item prediction in short sessions. Uh, that's it. The code will be uh, released on the GitHub soon. Uh, thank you for your listening. I'm, uh, and I'm ready to take some questions. So thank you for your presentation. Uh, we have uh, some questions from the online audience. Uh, the first question, which is the same I was willing to ask is, um, um, how do you uh, find uh, similar sessions? Uh, do, do, don't you have the risk that uh, given a user session, it's not possible to find other sessions that are enough similar? We, we found similar sessions from two data sources. One is the user's historical sessions, and the, the other is the uh, session set that uh, from other users we selected. Uh, this, this, this set is, uh, is the sessions from the users that uh, have similar preference from the, uh, with the current session. And, uh, and uh, another problem, problem is the, uh, calculating the, the similarities between the sessions. We propose a SSRN uh, network to calculate the similarities between the sessions. Uh, does, uh, we use this two, uh, two design to solve the problem of finding similar sessions from other users. Thank you. And uh, I don't see um, questions from the physical audience, but we have a last question from the online audience. and. Uh, how do you deal with um, you know, dynamic catalog, new items in terms of retraining? So how difficult is to update the model when you add the new users or new items to your catalog? Uh, actually, we don't, we don't uh, consider these this, uh, scenarios. And maybe in the future works, we will consider it. OK. Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, Wenzel for your presentation, and uh, we can uh, uh, so if move on and uh, go thank to you. the. Okay, thank you.